Wisconsin, our neighbors to the north, the Badger State, a place where friendly people mainline cheese whiz into their femoral arteries. But are they as nice as they seem to be? Are they who they appear to be? Well, today on the Cheeseburger Show's investigative unit, we find out with a hidden camera what Wisconsinites really feel about Illinoisian, about, well, hold on, about Illinoisian, hold on, let's try it again, about Illini, God, what are they, what do you call in, Illinoisians, Illinois? Illinois, are you sure? They really feel about Illinois, really feel about people from the greater Chicago area. Ah, journalism. This is the hidden camera that we've attached. What we're trying to do is ingratiate ourselves seamlessly into the Wisconsin public. Oh, hello there, fellow Wisconsinite. So, I love cheese like you. Like cheese, eh? I like the Prince Fielder from the Milwaukee Brewers baseball National League team. Oh, hey, some sausage, eh? How do you feel about people from Chicago? People from Chicago? Yeah. They're wonderful. So, how about that Brett Fur? Fur. Oh, he's yeah. a good player. Trying to stand the band this. And... Uh, Aaron Rodgers is a much better player, though, eh? Now that I've proven myself to be a everyday Wisconsinite, let's talk about people from Chicago. Chicago people. Ooh. Chicago people good. <laughs> Chicago people good? What? I love Chicago people. No, I don't hate Chicago. Oh. No. Let's, uh, let's, let's go have some brats, because that's what we... Okay. <laughs> that was highly uncomfortable. You can see the vitriol in, in, uh, in that man just the disdain that he had for Chicagoans and really non-Wisconsinite as a whole is, is quite ugly. I mean, it does not bode well for the state. Journalism. I gotta say, Milwaukee is one of my favorite cities in the world. And on top of the list of reasons, they love their cheeseburgers. And if you come here for cheeseburgers, the first place you gotta stop is this place behind me, Solly's Grill, a place known for putting tons and tons of butter on their burgers. I mean, tons of butter. <laughs> Butter is uh, probably the best tasting ingredient in cooking in the world, as far as I'm concerned. Butter is a, a very friendly tasting uh, food, a very sweet tasting food, and, and very creamy. And uh, it just allows your sandwiches to taste that much better when you put good old fashioned real Wisconsin butter on there. I have been coming to Sally's for more than 60 years, in 1947. Has the food changed at all? No, I can't say that it has. <laughs> I would almost think they should have an ambulance parked behind this place. Just in case, with all this butter going through your arteries, but it's so good. Mm. I designed this cheesehead burger during the Super Bowl in 1997 when the Packers were playing the Super Bowl. And now it's... Uh, one of the most popular burgers at Sally's. A man once came in and ate ordered two of these burgers and ate it all, plus the fries. Uh, he is no longer with us, but he is greatly missed. Butter just drip, drip, dripping like it's a leaky faucet. A little, right? Come on. Seriously? <laughs> Do I need to say any more other than the fact that this is a two-third pound 
cheese burger with onions and mushrooms with about half a cup of butter. Do we need to say anything else? No, just cut, stop, cut. My dad started in 1934 selling nickel hamburgers because, you know, during the Depression, you know, things were tough, but he always saw these little white towers and these little hamburger joints so that they always were busy, and he thought that was a good business to get into. I helped my dad, you know, when I was just, you know, 10, 11 years old, you know, and grew up in the business, and we located here in 1948 on 27th Street. We are what you call a dinosaur in the industry. We're uh, the mom, the true mom and pop operation. You know, my daughter's in the kitchen, my wife comes in and helps, and and even though, you know, I'm getting up in years, I still enjoy coming to work every day. You gotta start out with a good product, you know. We buy choice beef, and we grind it every day. In reality, you can buy hamburger cheaper than you can make it, but, uh, Knowing what's in it is what's more, more important to me. 2,100 patties an hour. The best seller one here is our bacon cheeseburger. I started out as a waitress when I was 13 years old and, you know, kind of worked my way. I don't know if you consider this up, but I guess that's what I ended up doing. I have customers that I have seen from the time they were dating, getting married, having their children, bringing in their children, now bringing in their grandchildren. It's kind of fun. People that come in here know that when they come in, everything is going to be cooked as they order it. Nothing is going to be made ahead of time. It's just a little seasoning salt. Gives a little enhancement to the, the patties. Next step would be to get the bun on, start toasting it. And bacon, we use three strips of bacon, three full strips. I can remember coming in here as a kid, sitting at the counter, and we used to use cube butter at that time, and that was my absolute favorite thing to bite into. It's always been butter on a burger. And there it is. I'm so excited. Uh, all my friends from Milwaukee tell me I have to go to Mazo's here. And here we are. This is their bacon double cheeseburger. It's 12 ounces, three quarters of a pound of beef, which we just saw them grind downstairs. Soft buns from Toronto Bakery from Berwyn. Oh, man. Wow. Just look at this burger. How can you improve on this? Nothing. It's meat, cheese, bacon, onions, and bun. I have nothing critical to say about this. This is just delicious. Period. Burgers are all we do. I mean, we do nothing else. We mastered the burger. We're not, it, there's nothing else on the menu but burgers. It's all my guys do 12 hours a day is just burgers, and we do them better than anyone else in Milwaukee. The Sobelman Burger is a third pound black Angus beef patty uh, with cheddar, Swiss, and American cheese, bacon, fried onions, and fried jalapeno peppers on a country butter roll, toasted. I like cheese. I'm from Wisconsin. I like the way it looked. The cheddar, the Swiss, and the American melt, uh, kind of melted that way. The, or the two different color oranges and the, the white Swiss. That's it. That's the best burger in Milwaukee. Dave Solomon sure speaks up a good burger. He says this is the best burger in Milwaukee. Well, I've tasted a lot of burgers in Chicago. How does this hold up? Just a, a veritable magma of cheese overflowing. Six slices of cheese, so much meat, delicious bacon. It is an orgy of protein in your mouth. It's a key party of proteins. This city makes better use of the entire animal than it does of any other burger city in America. Butter, cheese, meat, what can be better? Nothing. So I'm just gonna keep eating. And that about does it for us here at the Cheeseburger Show in Milwaukee. Be sure to read us in the pages of the Chicago Tribune. And if you've got a burger you absolutely have to recommend for us, send us a note at mail at cheeseburgershow.com. Thanks for watching.